right, so let's start the meeting right now. Thank you so much for taking the time to join the meeting. I know everyone has a tough schedule right now, but I really appreciate that you have taken the time out of your day to join this meeting. So for this workshop, we basically asked our high achieving contributors and interns for their go-to revision tips. And before getting into it, I must highlight the fact that everyone has its own, uh, has their own revision style and technique, but uh, we curated this workshop to help you identify and uh, find the way that works for you the best. So for some people, scribbling down the notes and highlighting the keywords is the best way to revise, while for others, jumping into solving practice questions and reading the mark schemes of each um, past paper is an effective way to revise. And if I give you a personal insight, I basically uh, first revise from the summarized notes that are available on the Z Notes website, and then I jump into solving every uh, single past paper questions, which I uh, find more helpful. So before we actually jump into the techniques for revising, we have to make sure that you have all your resources available and you have an effective plan which you can go through and make your revision effective. So what I mean by gathering all your resources is having all your syllabus material printed out or downloaded. And then you make a topical checklist of every topic that you want to cover. So it can be uh, like uh, any topic wise or it's most of the syllabus uh, outlines also have a, a topical checklist at the start. But if you feel like you want to create a separate one, feel free to create it. And once you've gathered all your resources, now it's the time to have an effective study plan. And I know most of the people will jump into solving past paper questions straight away. And but I want you to realize the fact that it's not actually you don't actually need to solve every single past paper question because not every every year the because not every past paper questions will have uh, will include all the style of the questions that the examiner can uh, test you upon so every year the pattern of the exam the examiner changes its pattern to test you upon the questions so feel um, so you have to go through all the make sure you go through all the hardest uh, exam paper questions which uh, you feel like have all the knowledge tested upon. So that would be an effective way to revise, not actually solving every single past paper questions, okay? So once you have figured out what works for you the best, it's best to now jump into revising. So for the best techniques that work for revisions, we all know that most of you will be familiar with the Pomodoro technique, but I think that we take it for granted because we have seen this uh, technique mentioned everywhere, but it actually has an essence. You see that uh, sometimes when you have short amount of time left at the end of your exams, uh, at the end when you're actually uh, sitting in your exam. So in that short amount of time, you if you have already practiced practice solving questions in a limited amount of time, then you can actually intuitively solve the questions at the end when you have short amount of time left. So that's where the essence of the Pomodoro comes from. And uh, during your study sessions, if you're using this technique, you can uh, work for around 30 minutes or more and then prioritize the time of the break but if you want to study for like a longer uh, period of time you can uh, make sure that it's not it does not exceed 100 minutes because uh, our brain has a capacity to learn and then you can take a longer break if you have studied for around 40, 100 minutes and make sure it's not over like four hours which you're studying so afterwards Another technique that you can actually use to revise is actively reading and active recalling. These are two different things. 
So what I mean by actively reading is that you highlight basically the notes when you're going through your notes, you basically highlight the content and uh, scribble out the things you are not understanding. And what I like to do is I associate different colors and different colored pens for different subjects and different topics. And when I struggle with recalling the topics, I just uh, think about that color and the notes I uh, made using that colored pen. And then I can actively, then I can like recall it when I'm sitting in the exam. So if this method works for you, make sure to try it out. And I, I would really advise it because it works for me. So I hope that it would work for you as well. Now, by what I mean by actively recalling is once you've skimmed through all your notes and you, you really have to test your knowledge. So the best way to actively recall and test your knowledge is by blurting the information that you have read and learned out in a piece of paper. And if you forget something, don't panic. Just, um, just mark it out and make sure to revise it again. And that would really help you to uh, check on the things that you have missed out and do not forget them during during your exam. So another way that works the best for mathematics and any science related subjects is by reverse learning. So what exactly this means is that once you know the conclusive answer, you have identified that uh, this is the answer. Like for example, you're skimming through the mark scheme and you, uh, you, you're stuck upon that, why did we actually get to that answer? So, so you like, take out your notes and work backwards around what exactly was the approach of the examiner or the uh, person making the mark scheme to get to this answer. And that would actually help you uh, prioritize your revisions as well, because you can then learn, uh, you can then, you will then know that what exactly is the piece of information that you need to revise. So yeah, another way to effectively revise would be to learn from each other. And there are various Discord servers online that are available. We, we at Znotes also have our Discord server as well. If you wanna join, do let us know. There are other uh, uh, ways you can uh, learn from each other as well by testing between your friends or like the, as I mentioned, joining an online community, because that way, if uh, you explain that topic to someone someone else or someone else explains that topic to you in simple words, that is a really effective way to learn and make sure that the content stays within ingrained in your mind. So another way that you can actively uh, revise and recall would be to change the medium and the methods you're already using. So for example, if you were a visual learner and uh, you you must try to like listen to your notes make uh, you can do this by either uh, recording yourself reading those notes out loud and then playing them back so that um, that that can also be an effective way to learn so that's it for the meeting and i hope that all the resources that were mentioned in this workshop were helpful and I'll link a feedback survey here, which you can fill out and let us know what your thoughts are about the meeting. And make sure to try out the Xenos website as well. And if you have any questions, make sure to drop them down here in the chat and I'll answer them. I've linked the uh, feedback survey, feedback form here. So make sure to fill it out as well. And when, some of you are saying that Pomodoro doesn't work for you. So, okay. Well, Pomodoro 
as I said that everyone has different methods of studying. So if Pomodoro doesn't work for you, try to uh, eliminate all the distractions and just be more focused on when you're studying. Um, uh, the best way would be for it to uh, eliminate all the distractions do, and do not time yourself then if, he, uh, if the Pomodoro doesn't work for you. And just that will help you make sure that you are getting all the content in your mind. I hope that answers your question. If you have any other questions, you can also ask me. Okay, we got no more questions. So I hope this study session was helpful for you and feel free to uh, take the screenshot of this slide and join our community as well. Okay, so take care. Have a great day. Bye. Yeah, sure. We'll post this on, we'll make sure to post this on Instagram as well. Okay, that's it. We've got no more questions. Thank you so much for your time. Bye.